Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Dev Chanel's 40s World. And looky, 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 look at Cookie. We are talking about Cynthia Bailey and only Cynthia Bailey. And we're only going to be talking about her for a few minutes because I don't really believe uh, she's going to make it happen. Because she's been sitting around since 2017 advertising putting up flyers saying she's going to do something with the Bailey agency and yet nothing has really come of it because she's had too much time on her hands dealing with Mike and what Mike wants and she's been spending a lot of time in LA when her Bailey agency is here in Georgia and she needs to either move it uh, to LA where she can practice on it, focus on it, develop it, and rebrand it and put it back out for the public to see for 2022 uh, and to keep her mind busy uh, and, and at least trying to make some money for herself since she's not on a Real Housewives of Atlanta anymore and she really doesn't need the show because the only thing the show has really brought to her was a lot of disappointment and revenue at that. But or I could say a, a continuous paycheck. But if she didn't do anything with the money all the time she had been on the show, I don't know what to say for. But she really should have been investing it back into her brand. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll give her the benefit of the doubt. But she did an interview with Madame Minor or Madame Minor magazine. Okay. And they were pretty much regurgitating a lot of stuff with the housewives, with her not attending uh, Nene Leakes' husband, Reed Paz, uh, just talking about her taking um, time off from other reality shows, even though she says she keep getting into the drama. And I know you keep looking at that price tag of what they want to pay you and the little perks they're giving you since they didn't bring you back on the real housewives of atlanta for season 14 and you walked in some drama where you and kenya ended up having a little spat more so off of camera when it should have been rolling on camera making you you know seem some value or worth that was left in you to probably bargain with for season 15 of the real housewives of atlanta uh season cast if it were to be one because i don't know if you'll still knock on their door or even if they would maybe come and knock on your door in in the distant future but anyway it's just a lot of stuff they were going over with her during the interview they had with her and uh about kenya moore and the other ladies from the other franchises of the housewives from different the uh, different states and how she fared well with them on that ultimate girls trip um they did and they included some ogs from the past and cynthia was one of them and um you know she said she had a pretty good time she was mostly close to kenya um than any of the other ladies and they had a lot of history and you know they had got in an argument and of course Kenya wanted to hash it off air she didn't want to be seen as a villain over there on this other little uh cast tr uh, trip escapade that they had titled um uh, the what do you call it? the the ultimate girls trip for the housewives franchise <laughs> Not just, you know, for Atlanta. But, uh, you know, they had a little more in-depth interview with her. And she pretty much said, um, in regards to the article that was written on her by the magazine, they said Bailey didn't know what she was getting herself into when she signed up for the girls' trip. Uh, but is happy that she had her last hurrah with reality television and will be focused on living drama-free. I keep saying it, meaning Cynthia, I'm putting the drama behind me. I'm actually walking to, into some more drama, she said. But after this, I think, I think I really am going to take a drama break. Bailey added that if she ever did a spinoff, it would focus on her modeling school. And actually, 
already in the talks about doing something with the Bailey agency, she said. That's the one thing I want to focus on first. Everyone always asked me if I did a spinoff, what would it be? It would be my school for sure. And then they was giving you the advertisement of the Ultimate Girls trip. It premieres on November 18th on Peacock. Now, uh, I'm not going to look at it because I ain't been signing up for another subscription. So I could care less how the women fare on that Ultimate Girls trip. But I found it very interesting. And that's a lovely picture of um, her. Uh, I found it very interesting that she would think about uh, doing something with the um, bailing agency since it has been on looks like hiatus. It's just something that was screened or uh, taken to account of being filmed on the Real Housewives of Atlanta through whatever season. I don't know. I don't know what it was or I don't remember. Uh, and she had that very active uh, at the time she was looking for models and I think she even put uh excuse me I think she even put uh what is that lady's name Sheree's um son in I don't forgot what his name was I think it's found with a K uh I'm not really sure y'all get down in the comments and y'all tell me what his name was Cairo 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 how could I forget that like Egypt Cairo but, uh, yeah, she was working with him and her daughter, Noelle, and they would call themselves modeling. But, like I said, I think they just had did it for the effects of the show when it was being taped. And then she just kind of, like, burnt it up or I don't know what the hell she did with it. Uh, you know, it seemed like it's in hiatus. Uh, maybe she's paying for the, the space. Uh, maybe she's using it like she was using, I think, her wine celery. She was having people come in and use some of her space that she had bought when she was married to Peter. Um, and I wonder what's happening with the wine celery because we don't see any of that either. Or when they were taping this previous uh, season on 13, it, it wasn't no scenes being captured that I can remember. But like I said, I didn't catch it but a few times. Uh, In passing, when it came to her talking about um, or being filmed in her wine cellar, because I was kind of confused myself, like, you know, why are you, you know, opening up something that you're not, you know, it just seemed like Cynthia Starr projects and don't finish them. Because, you know, she had the eyewear. I mean, what is, what's going on with the eyewear? Then she had the luggage bag theory of she was going to be showcasing that. Um, and trying to sell that. What what happened with that? Um, I mean, you don't see other designers abandoning their trademarks or their products. They constantly, or uh, you know, wherever they're getting interviewed or wherever they're uh, being shown on television, you're definitely gonna see them market their stuff. You know, I'm like, Cynthia, do you even wear your eyeglasses, your shades? You know, at events, even when you're taping on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, do you have the Bailey shades, girl? Because that's your marquee. That's your trademark. That's your brand. You need to be, you know, advertising it. Because these are wares. These are accessories that you definitely can put in every um, setting or every taping that you have. It could be your, your brand. But I'm like, you weren't even doing it. You were wearing, you know, other... Uh, designer clothes and you should be wearing your own i mean how are you ever going to showcase and see it's so wearable and so you know uh versatile you can wear it with different outfits and stuff you should have been showcasing and even telling your friends when you were on the show that y'all stopped by you know wherever it's being sold or this is what i got new coming out y'all need to get it and then go on with the storyline something but you didn't do that girl i'm like girl this big ass platform you have and you try not i mean is it in your contract you can't say anything about it or oh, you can't show it because you need to have redone your contract like every time i'm being seen i want to show my product i want to be the face of who i say i am when i'm selling these things yeah i was like girl so it was very pleasant to hear that 
whatever endeavors you get yourself into next, it's going to be showcasing the Valen Agency, which you know you can do something with it because you have the face and you definitely have the body type and you definitely have the experience, the know-how, and the connections to be very successful. You don't need to be on ratchet television shows or following up mics behind trying to make him appear or seem competent as a celebrity um, entertainer unit where he interviews celebrities in the entertainment world, not just the sports related world. I'm like, girl, come on. You're 54 now, 53. If you ain't showing, telling, and proving now, you ain't going to do it, Cynthia. Because you got more years behind you than you have ahead of you, dear. So let's pep it up. Let's put it into gear and drive going forward, my dear, going forward. And if you have to leave some people in behind you that you once knew and loved and cared for, then so be it. But it's time for you to think of Cynthia and Cynthia getting her ducks in a row and her to be seemingly more inviting, uh, have a good storyline for us to follow. Uh, Because if you talk anything fashion or accessorized or even makeup, we're there. We're there wanting to know, wanting to learn from you. So I'm giving you hints on what you can do. And you're definitely going to get a grand following if you play your cards right. If you stick to the script of the Bailey Agency. Because it can entail everything from hair, wardrobe, accessories. And you can be including your Bailey wear. Uh, you can get into the apparel business. You already got the shades going on and the luggage. Girl, capitalize while you can. Okay? But that's all I have for this video. I wanted to one-up Cynthia since I've been pretty much not in her corner. Because she hadn't been in doing anything that I needed to get behind her on. But now I see a spark. A slightly open door for her to capitalize. And I am rooting for her to do such. Forget about Mike. Forget about her marriage. Focus on the Bailey agency. I mean, I'm not saying get divorced from Mike. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying put all her added interests and thoughts and time invested in something she really cares about. Because Noelle has her life. Mike has his separate life from being married to her. But Cynthia don't have anything. She's just running up her daughter or running up Mike or running up some ratchet TV show that she's not happy with, that she's not getting or garnering support or more people wanting to be in tune with her and saying positive things about her. So I think she this is her time to rebrand herself and what she wants to do with herself from this point going forward so we'll see y'all spread the video send the video to her i'm giving her great pieces of advice i really am so yeah send her the video if at all possible because i'm trying to be on her side i am trying to be on her side and i see her worth i really do but that's all i have for this video guys y'all like it love it gotta have more don't hesitate to subscribe, share, and like my videos. But if nothing else, share my videos and like my videos, y'all. And I really appreciate y'all. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.